Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of 2D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we built ourselves an obstacle. We built ourselves a spiky rock. And in this episode, guys, I'd like to take a look at some of the code to be able to have the character destroy an enemy, all right, or affect the enemy in some way. Uh, and we're not going to actually add damage to the character yet. Uh, we're going to add. We're going to do that in the following episode, I think. There's not a whole lot of code that has to go into enemy health, uh, but there's enough that I want to kind of break it up. So in this episode, guide, we're going to talk about enemy health. We want our character to be able to damage our enemy. All right. So let's get started. All right, guys. So in the last episode, we made ourselves the spiky rock, and we broke it up into two different parts. It, it wasn't necessary to do, it wasn't necessary to have the spiky rock and the rock surface. Uh, we could have had this in, in um, all in the same one if we wanted to, uh, and it, it easily could have been done just by simply saying add a new collider here. I didn't do it like that, I added two different um, two different objects, and that way we could actually put code on two different ones, we could move this around very easily, etc. If you don't want to, you do not have to, all right? You can add everything into the top layer. It's up to you, totally up to you. Anyway, guys, this is how I'm going to do it. Um, it also will allow me to, well, anyway, we'll get to that later on. In today's episode, guys, we are going to be adding the code to make this, this object have some kind of health, all right? And allow our character to be able to shoot and destroy an object, all right? This is going to allow destroy destructible terrain, uh, shooting through a, a doorway, or anything else. It'll actually how you shoot the any enemy in the game, all right? So, the first thing you're going to do, click on your spiky rock. Make sure you got your spiky rock, or whatever your obstacle is called. Make sure you got it selected, and we're going to add to it a new component. And it, of course, is going to be a new script. And this script is going to be called, uh, let's call it enemy, enemy health, all right? And this is where we're going to put in uh, all the information about about the enemy character's health. I'm going to move it over to scripts right away. Uh, and I'm going to double click on it. Boop! And open her up. Alright, there's my mono... Ah, oh, did that again. There's my mono develop. Alright, enemy health right now is completely empty. We're going to add a couple of different things into enemy health. Uh, we're not going to add everything at once. Uh, later on, we're going to talk about things like drops and... Uh, you know, things like that. For now, we're not going to. Uh, what I'd like to do right now is simply set it up so that you can shoot it. Okay? So, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add a public float. And this this code that I'm doing here, this enemy health, is going to be used for obstacles, uh, for AI enemies, for everything. Alright? I'm going to add a public float. Uh, and we're going to call this thing here enemy... Uh, what should we call it? Enemy max health. All right. This is going to be the maximum the maximum amount of health that your that your enemy can have. Later on if you want to set it up so your the enemies gain back health or anything else like that, this is the maximum amount they can ever have, okay? Our starting value. Uh, there's only one other thing that I think we're going to need uh, for now and that is going to be well maybe two more things. We'll see. Uh, for now yeah, we'll just do one thing for now. Um, we're going to do a private variable called uh, a float number, sorry, a float, and it's going to be called uh, current health. All right, and that is going to be the current value of our enemy's health. It can be, it's going to be some subset or some some lesser value than the maximum any health, enemy health at any given time. Okay, so to start off with, what we want to do uh, upon awake or start, it doesn't really matter. We'll leave it on start. Um, what we want to do is we want to make sure we set our current health current health equal to our enemy max health, all right? In doing so, we set up our starting value uh, at where it's supposed to be, okay? Perfect. The next thing I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to, the, the enemy's health is going to be affected by something else, all right? It's going to be affected by the player's rocket in our case, uh, but it might be affected by uh, other enemies, etc. What we really want to do is set it up so that, let me add it in here, uh, so that we have a public function that allows other objects to change the health of this enemy, okay? So, we're going to add a public. This is going to be a void. Uh, I think in all cases they have to be void. Uh, and we're going to call this add damage. Add damage. Uh, and it's going to actually take a float. It's going to have one parameter, a float. Uh, and we're going to call it damage. So basically what I want to do 
is I want this function uh, to be able to affect the character, the 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 object's health, uh, the the current health. All right, and basically what it's going to allow is that when a rocket hits it, it's going to make a call to the public add damage, and it's going to remove a certain amount of damage from the bad guy. All right, so to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say. And, and the damage here is how much damage the, the, the rocket or the whatever is doing to this object, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say our current health is going to be equal to, minus equal to, oops, minus equal to, uh, and that's just a short form of saying, I can either say equals uh, current health minus damage, uh, or I can, I can, uh, make this into a short form where I say minus equals, let me get rid of this, a short form of that is minus equals damage. Uh, and that's basically saying the same thing. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm changing the current health to be the current health minus the damage. All right, and now we want to check something. We want to check and see if our enemy is dead. So if our current health is less than or equal to zero, uh, because maybe, you know, in my case, if they're zero, then they're dead. Maybe you say, no, zero is not quite dead yet. It's almost dead. It's up to you. Uh, we are going to call a new function, and we're going to call uh, make dead. All right, and that's going to be a new function that we're going to have to write. And the make dead is going to allow us to uh, do a number of things. Um, we're not act we're not just going to, here, here's what I'm going to do for now. Make dead. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is in, in make dead, or the only thing for now, uh, this is a uh, void make dead. That is going to be my function. It's not going to take any parameters. Um, there's a number of things that we could do in make dead. Uh, let's say we had an animation we wanted to run whenever our character died, or sorry, whenever this, this enemy died, it would occur here. Uh, a sound would occur here, particle, anything like that would occur in this location. You know, if it was going to drop something, maybe maybe we'd let it drop from here. Anyway, the only thing we want to happen right now is we want our object to be destroyed. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to say destroy. We've already seen the destroy function before. And what do we want to destroy? We want to destroy the game object. All right, we just want to get rid of this thing. So basically, uh, what's going to happen is if our current health is less than or equal to zero, it's going to immediately just delete our, our object. Okay, and that is pretty much all the code we need currently to have our enemy die. All right, that's all we need to do. So let's save this, file, save. Now, there is something else that we're going to need to do. Uh, we're going to need to do a, a number of things because first of all, first of all, we have to have something else call uh, our add damage. All right, something else has to call add damage. Where we want to do that is from our rocket. So let's go find our prefab, our rocket, right here. Uh, and it's, in fact, actually this one here, this missile. And remember, we had a rocket hit function. The rocket hit function is going to be what, where we call our enemy damage from. Okay, so let's take a look at that function. Rocket hit right here. So this was our rocket hit. Now, we already have it set up so that if it hits something that's shootable, it explodes. If it hits something in a layer that's shootable, it explodes. Now we want to have it check to see if this is an actual enemy. All right, so we want to actually cause damage. So we're going to have to have additional information within here. All right, so inside of this, uh, right underneath, right underneath this is perfectly fine. We're going to add in a, a new if statement. All right, and that if statement, oops, I put it in the wrong spot. Sorry, right underneath destroy. All right, first of all, if it's shootable, then if it's an enemy. All right. Now, how are we going to know if it's an enemy? First of all, there's nothing on our our spiky rock that indicates that this is an enemy. All right, nothing. But we mentioned this before. We have a layer that's saying shootable, and we have a tag, and this tag can be used to set up other things. Now, I can't remember if I added enemy. I don't think I added anything. Let's see, add tag uh, tags. Uh, okay, I might have added this <laughs> already, guys. And if I did, I'm sorry. I don't think I did it for you guys. What you want to do is you want to say add tag and say enemy in here. I don't remember doing it, but maybe I did. Uh, say enemy in there, all right? That will set up a new tag for you. So if I go to spiky rock over here now, I can say instead of untagged, make this into an enemy, all right? Now we can easily identify based on a tag whether something is an enemy or not, all right? Something could be uh, shootable but not an enemy. Like maybe we want something like non-destructible terrain. All right, uh, who knows what we want. Anyway, 
make this into enemy. Now let's go back to our code. In here, if other dot tag, so if we remember correctly, our rocket shoots off. Uh, it is a it is a collider, uh, and if it if it hits, it's a it's a trigger collider. If it hits something else, it's going to trigger this event. All right. So if uh, the other object that we've hit tag equals quotations enemy then we want something to occur. We want to actually call, so all of our enemies are going to have to have this thing here, we actually want to call the function we built into enemy health. We actually want to call add damage. All right. To do so is very easy. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to declare a new variable uh, a new variable of type enemy health. All right. This is, of this is the type enemy health right there. And let's just call this uh, hurt uh, it doesn't matter what you call it. Enemy. All right. Let's call it hurt enemy. Uh, and uh, this is going to be equal to, oops, the other dot game object. So instead of taking a look at just the collider, we're going to the top level to the game object itself, and we're going to get a component. And we know because we built the enemy that that component is located actually on that top level. So get component, uh, and we want to get that enemy health. All right. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the enemy health script. Okay. And that's how we do it. Just like we've done it in, in the past. Now you can set up, I, I'm not going through it right now and setting up a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, fail safe conditions here to make sure that enemy health is there. You should probably do that for proper coding. You would do that. And I'm just making a prototype here. So we're just doing this very quickly. I'm not going through and making any error checking in any way. I'm just assuming that if I've, if I've tagged it properly as enemy, then it's got this component as an enemy health, uh, enemy health script. All right. So if we've got this enemy health script and we do, we're assuming, then we'll be able to call any of our uh, any of our existing, um, any of our existing like add damage uh, public functions. All right, so add damage, and I want to send in there. What do we call it? Weapon damage. I want to put in weapon damage. All right. So basically now, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this off. Oops, not there. Right here. All right there. Um, basically now, what I'm doing is I'm going through. I'm seeing if it's an enemy. If it is, I am I am getting a reference to its enemy health and then I'm calling hurt or I'm calling damage add damage and add damage is going through and doing this all right that's all we really need to do I'm gonna cut and paste this right down below because it is a mirrored situation paste great and I'm gonna say file save did I say this one file yes I already did all right so that is all we should really have to do in order to damage our enemy all right we currently have this thing set up as an enemy great when I hit play Oh, no, sorry, I have to change my rocket value. My missile damage, let's make this into a value of, let's say, 10. And let's give our enemy, our enemy rock right here, a maximum health of 20. So with that in mind, I should have to shoot this thing twice. So far, so good. Everything looks good when I shoot it. Boom, once. Boom, twice. It disappeared. All right. So that is all we needed to do in order to have our enemy be destroyed. Now in the next episode, guys, what I want to take a look at is hurting our player. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, short episode, probably 15 minutes long at maximum. Short episode, but all the information you need to actually <laughs> destroy an enemy. All right. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. It lets me know what's right and what's wrong with what I'm doing. All right. Let me know in the comments what you like and what you don't like. Say hi. Ask your questions. I don't care. Just let me know you're watching. All right, guys. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.